Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my mega park. Now, in the last episode, uh, I worked on this area with the car ride and the monorail station. And, uh, well, yeah, as you can obviously see, it's not finished yet. So that's what I want to do in this uh, in this episode. So yeah, this area still needs uh, a lot of work. Um, I kind of also want to make a little restaurant here somewhere, in, also in the Asian style. And uh, when I'm finished uh, with it, uh, I can probably also uh, do some of the leftover work in uh, in this area. Anyway, um, I think it's time to uh, just get started. Um, well, some people pointed out that these are spring trees with the pink uh, flowers, and the yellow ones are more autumn-style trees. Uh, so yeah, they probably shouldn't go together. And to be honest, I didn't really like the the pink trees here anyway, because they're much uh, shorter. And uh, yeah, I don't think they go well together. So here, I will just. Uh, Continue a bit uh, with this uh, dark green uh, style. That will probably uh, look good in uh, combination with the red. Anyway, um, time to uh, get started. Okay, here's a little trick you can use um, if you have two paths like this going into uh, yeah, into stairs. You'll notice there's a little gap in, bet in between them. Um, in this case, it has grass. If you want that gap to disappear, you simply select the uh, path with Tile Inspector. So as you can see, it has uh, yeah, on the connected edges there's two two. Uh, two uh, checks that you can still uh, set. So yeah, this one's not selected, this one's not selected. Um, so yeah, here the open part is on the top. So we select the top one. And for this part right next to it, we do the same. We select it. And here the open edge is on the side. We select this one and now you can see the gap in between the paths is gone. So yeah, that will make the entrance to these stairs uh, look a little bit uh, cleaner. Now, one thing you can also do is, uh, if you have these uh, paths um, that are invisible, um, if you want more litter bins in an area without making it look uh, cluttered, um, just place your litter bins on the path that you want to make invisible. Then make the paths invisible, and uh, the guests will be able to drop their trash in them, but uh, the litter bins themselves will not be uh, visible. So yeah, it just allows you to add uh, a few more litter bins to your area, um, yeah, without them being actually being visible. So it should lead to less uh, less trash uh, being dropped uh, in the park by your guests.
Alright, um, here you can see another good example of why you should always check your plants, uh, your trees from all sides. So, for example, from here, um, I think this foliage looks uh, really good. So yeah, some nice plants here in the foreground. Uh, some, I mean, some gardens in the foreground. Some uh, bushes here in the middle, and then uh, there's some blue flowers here on the on the edge, and then the track is uh, right next to that. So from this side it looks good, but when you look from this side, you can actually see some gaps here in between. Uh, and from this side, uh, there's a gap here on the hill that's really clear. So yeah, that's why it's always important to check your uh, foliage from, from all sides. Just to make sure that it looks good from every angle. Now, uh, some users remarked that the cars were no longer dueling. Um, so yeah, they used to be dueling when, uh, back when they were still uh, a different uh, ride type. Uh, back when I was still building them as the steeplechase coaster. Later I changed them to uh, the lift ride type just to make sure that uh, their tracks would become invisible. And so that I could replace them with this mini suspended coaster track. The problem with the lift is that it doesn't allow for um, for dueling rides, it doesn't allow you to synchronize the stations. Uh, well, one thing I could do uh, to allow for synchronized stations is change it to one of the unknown ride types, uh, like this one. And then you can see it allows the synchronize with adjacent stations again. Um, the problem is, um, why well, choosing the lift ride type actually moves down the cars a bit. Um, which makes it look more like they're actually uh, traveling on the guide rail. And as the unknown ride type, as you might be able to see, they're a bit higher again. Um, also, I'm not sure if the unknown ride type is actually a transport ride. Uh, so I'm going to change it back to the lift. Uh, since it's now a transport ride, uh, guests will ride it regardless of its stats. So uh, I think that's uh, that's good. And um, it also moves them down to the to the guide rail again, so that's another thing that I like. It's just that uh, they won't do well anymore, but uh, I, I can live with that. It doesn't really matter if they're not actually dueling. I think it's uh, close enough that uh, it doesn't really matter. Also, the real uh, Autopia in this event, I believe it does also doesn't really uh, do well. I mean, uh, on the real thing, there are four tracks, but uh, yeah, <laughs> from what I could see, I wasn't really dueling uh, with anyone while I was riding it.
Okay, I think that's uh, enough decoration for now. So yeah, I added all these gardens. Uh, I tried to give uh, the different sections of the ride uh, their own feel. So um, here we have uh, these uh, blue uh, gardens with the yellow trees. Uh, here uh, in this section there's more of these uh, purplish uh, tinted flowers uh, with the dark colored trees. And here it's more of a green colored uh, section. Um, so yeah, when you make a ride like this, you don't want every uh, every section of the ride to look the same. Um, you want it to have some different uh, areas or sections. Um, also, of course, added this little restaurant here. I think that looks uh, really nice here uh, in the middle. Now, um, I just uh, saw another task that's long overdue. Um, that's this uh, train station. Uh, it doesn't have a station building yet, uh, so yeah, it's time uh, we uh, get that uh, out of the way. Alright, um, I decided to add a toilet here because uh, many guests are complaining that they need to go to the toilet. And uh, having an actual toilet here again uh, should make it easier for the guests to pathfind uh, towards one. Alright, um, I think this is the car ride uh, pretty much done. Also happy I finally got to give the this uh, train uh, station. Uh, yeah, the station is really nothing special. And again, it is the... The ride is also tucked away into a corner here, so uh, I doubt it will get many uh, visitors anyway. Uh, let's remove the entrances. Alright, um, I still have some time left, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, add some more plants to this area, just to make it look a little bit more uh, finished. Um, okay, so for the car ride, uh, I actually named it Automania uh, last time. That's because for a while uh, I misremembered the ride of, well, the Disney ride uh, name. I thought the car ride in Disney was called Automania, but it was actually called Autopia. 
But uh, I do kind of like the name Automania, so I'm going to uh, stick with it. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's enough building for this episode. So uh, for the rest of the episode, uh, let's just follow uh, two of these cars uh, throughout uh, the track. Alright, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me build. Um, the next uh, episode I will uh, continue building something over here. There's a few coaster types we haven't uh, done yet, so uh, I think uh, I can uh, figure out something nice to put here. Anyway, uh, let's follow these uh, a few of these cars throughout the course, uh, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later!